hi welcome all this is introduction to probability and this is lecture number four in the last lecture that's lecture number three we covered the concepts of probability of throwing coins so we explain what is the sample space for throwing one coin and two coin and we deal with different probability questions so in this lecture i'm going to conclude all these concepts and derive some important conclusions so we know what is sample space it is the all possible outcomes of an experiment okay so when throwing one coin there are two possible outcome one is we either we can get head or we can get tail so the sample space will be s equal to tail or head so it has two elements so when throwing two coins we will get another sample space which means that the first coin we will get something and the second coil we will get either head or tail so in that case we can have a sample space like this tt th ht and hh means t means tail and uh, h means head means tt means the first coin shows the tail second coin shows the tail and th means first coin is tail second coin is head third th t means first coin is head and the second coin is tail hh means both the coins are got head so i highlighted the second letter with red color which means that we can get the sample space from the first sample space which means that we can get the sample space of two coin experiment from first coin experiment by writing the first coin one coin experiment sample space of one coin experiment two times and putting tail t on the right side of first two and uh, h on the right side of other two okay now i'm going to find the sample space for throwing three coins so how i will get i will write the sample space of two coin experiment two times like this the first four is the sample space of two coin experiment again i wrote the same on the first four on the right side i am going to write t t t and on the next four i am going to write h so now i got the sample space of three coin experiment in the same way i can get the sample space of four coin experiment how i will write the three coin sam experiment sample space two times and i will write t on the first eight elements then h on the next eight elements so it will be of size 16 so now we are going to derive some conclusion from this we know that when throwing one coin the sample space has two element so n of s the number of elements in the sample space it is 2 itself that is we can write 2 raised to 1 that is 2 so when throwing two coins the sample space size is 4 we can write is 2 square when drawing three coins, we, the sample space size is eight. That's we two cube. So is there any relation? Which means that two raised to n, where n is a number of coins. That means when drawing n coins, the size of the sample space is the number of elements in the sample space is two raised to n. Which means that when we are drawing ten coins, the sample sa space size will be two raised to ten. Okay. So now we are going to solve some question based upon this concept. So if I am throwing three coins, what is the probability of getting three heads? So do we need to write the complete uh, sample space for this? We know that when we are throwing three coins, there is only one probability of getting three heads. Or there is only one probability of getting three tails. So and we know the total number of outcomes that is the size of the sample space that is 2 cube so I can write I'm writing for understanding this is a sample space and uh, h h h that is a 3 heads that is a uh, required so we can write the probability of hitting heads p of h h that is 1 by 8 because only one outcome which is desirable divided by total outcomes that is a total number of chances that is 8 okay so one more question if i am throwing three coins what is the probability of getting at least one head which means that i am throwing three coins and what is the probability of getting at least one head which means that there should be at least minimum one head means if we look at the sample space there are eight element eight elements in the sample space how do you uh, one at least one head is there in seven element and only one that is t t t three tails is not having head 
so what is the probability probability of getting at least one head is 7 by 8 okay or we can also get it by 1 minus 1 by 8 how that comes because 1 minus the probability of not having head okay I will explain this concept in detail in coming lectures so now I did conclude uh, some ideas regarding throwing of three coins and higher number of coins so I hope you can solve some problems based upon these concepts after watching this video so here is a question for you if I am throwing three coins what is the probability of getting exactly one tail exactly one tail means I, there should be only one tail so you can write the sample space and you can find the answer for this question and you can write it on the comments thank you for watching you can watch lecture number five that's coming lecture for more detailed explanation on this question and new new ideas thank you for watching